there, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of 3B TV. I'm Brian. This is 3B Farm and Homestead here in beautiful upstate New York. And on this episode of 3B TV, I want to provide you with a quick garden update. Um, we are finally starting to uh, get things underway here. And right here, what I'm doing is I'm actually uh, seasoning my straw bales for uh, some straw bale gardening. So I have eight bales here set up in a square. These bales you can see are kind of starting to come apart, which is no big deal because they're going to go ahead and compost down anyhow. But what I'm going to do here is uh, this center area is actually going to get filled with some compost that I have left over uh, or that dirt that we had come in. I'm going to plant some winter squash and some watermelon in those squares and then allow those to run out and over the edge and then try to train them to kind of circle around these bales. Uh, in the bales themselves, I'm actually going to try planting some sweet potatoes. Um, this is not an idea that's unique to me. This is actually something that I got off of 52 Wheat Gardener who was a big straw bale proponent, but doesn't look like they've um, posted a video in a while. But uh, So I'm gonna try that. Uh, here we have some more bales lined up. I'm actually going to be planting probably peppers and uh, peppers and tomatoes in those. These uh, square foot beds here, um, we actually started planting last weekend. And I'll put in some video of that. So we're out here today. We're going to go ahead and try to get some gardening planted. Um, definitely not optimal situation. This soil is very, very saturated. Um, it's been raining for several days now, but I really want to get this uh, underway. And so we're going to go ahead and do it. Um, we've got the easy up up. Uh, that'll at least keep us a little bit dry. Um, but the soil is very, very saturated. So this may be a bad idea, but it's how we're going to roll. This year we're actually using two different gardening methodologies. The first one uh, being straw bale gardening, which is, uh, you can see the straw bales over there. Those need to be seasoned, um, so that's a story for another day. But we're going to also be doing raised beds, and in particular we're going to be doing uh, this system here. I've been using this system here for uh, a while now, um, based on this book by Mel Bartholomew. It's called square foot gardening, and instead of planting things in rows, you actually plant by the square foot. You can see here that I've actually set up a grid system using baling twine. Now, I've used a number of different things. I've used wood, I've used plastic, but all of it degrades over time. And so this year I decided to use baling twine. While I know it's going to degrade, I have so much of it that it's going to be easy to replace. No big deal. Some people just will put markers on the side of their their um, boxes, the raised beds, to kind of serve as an indicator. I like something a little bit more physical, something a little bit more permanent, be um, just because it makes it so that you're planting things a little bit more evenly. Some people will take and put things in and take them out, kind of temporary markers, but once you have uh, produce or plants that are well established, then it's very difficult to do that if you're doing successive planning, which is what I'm hoping to do this year. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and uh, get some seeds in the ground. Very excited about this. It's been a long time coming this year. And so uh, let's get to work. Um, unfortunately, my easy up, while well, it got blown, it, it was blown over in some wind and damaged. First time I ever used it, ruined it. So, didn't learn, uh, didn't stake it down, so I lost, lost my easy up. But you can see here, um, have some lettuce coming up. So, I actually am trying lettuce a couple of different ways. I'm doing it in this cut and come again method, this intensive planting method that Luke at MI Gardener. Um, that's kind of one of his, uh, suggestions, but then over here, I'm actually, uh, I've got it planted in a traditional square foot gardening methodology, which is four per, uh, square foot. Got some onions in over here. 
uh, on down this way here, I actually have some uh, turnips, some beets uh, planted in this area, um, and some peas, which haven't started coming up. Uh, and that's all I have planted. You can see I've got my beds uh, down the way there, ready to go. Another line of straw bales ready to, uh, uh, that I'm working on seasoning. And then what I have here in the back of this truck are some wood chips. So what I'm going to do is I have tons and tons of these feed sacks. So I'm going to take these feed sacks. I'm going to put them down. I'm going to put them down like that as kind of a weed barrier uh, down through there. And then uh, take these wood chips that I have. I have access to a huge pile of these wood chips. And uh, so I am going to, um, I'm going to take those wood chips and put them down through here. But as you can see, I don't know if you can see behind me or not. I don't know how well this camera will pick it up. But the sun is setting. I'm running out of daylight. So uh, I'm going to get back to seasoning these bales. But just wanted to give you a quick garden update here on 3B Farm and Homestead. So glad to finally be getting some things in the ground. Don't feel quite as behind as I did. And uh, so we'll see. Excited to try out the square foot gardening. Um, sorry, the straw bale gardening. Been doing square foot gardening for many, many years now. In general, happy with it. There's some things about it that I don't like as much, but um, in general, very happy with it. But uh, at least we're finally getting some things in the ground. So very happy and excited about that. So thanks for tuning in, everybody. If you uh, haven't already, please like, share, subscribe. Uh, let others know about our channel. If there's something we can do better, something else you'd like to see, let us know. Um, if you got any questions, put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. Again, uh, I'm not an expert on anything. Uh, just trying out a whole bunch of different things um, and uh, sharing the journey with you. So thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you next time.